possibility of common electrical appliances. Electrical appliances means we know that electric bulb and television, refrigerator, geyser, uh, fan, etc. So these are called electrical appliances. And now, for example, if you have electrical bulb, okay, sorry, this is a bulb. Electrical bulb. Okay. Now, if you see this, or uh, if you see its features, or uh, if there is written 100 watt, okay, and 220 volt D, 220 D on this electrical bulb. So, what is the meaning of this? The meaning of this now, 100 watt. So, it means now, within one second, okay, now, its power is, how much? 100 watt, or, this will be 100 joule per second, or, every one second, it will consume 100 joule. Okay, because power is written here, 100 watt. It means now within one second, it consumes 100 joule within one second. And here, what is this is uh, D or 220 D? This is potential difference. Now, this device will work properly if the potential difference close to this wire or to this electrical appliance or electric bulb. Then its power consumption also will be maximum or it can work properly in this board. Okay. If the potential difference becomes less than this or more than this, it will may not work properly or if the board becomes more than this, okay, then electric bulb will break or its filament will burn or it will break or this device will be damaged. Okay. Now you can find its resistance also. Okay. To find its resistance or what is the resistance inside this bulb? So we have the formula. We know that R equal to V square by P. Okay. If this is written 100 watt, this works on 220 volt. That means now potential difference is 220 volt square divided by power is 100 watt. Okay. Now if you solve it, you will get how much? You will get uh, 484 ohm or its resistance will be 484 ohm while when it was in use. Okay. And similarly, you can find the how much current is flowing through this bulb. We know the formula. So, in terms of power and its volt. Okay, we know the power. Power is uh, 100 watt, and volt is given here now. Volt is given 220 volt. Okay, so now this will be approximately this will be 0 0.454. Okay, or this will be approximately 0. 5 ampere. Okay, so we will get how much the resistance inside this appliance and how much current is flowing inside this appliances. You can find using this formula. Okay, to find the resistance, to find the flow of current while in use. So these are the electrical appliances. Similarly, other appliances also you can find. You have to uh, say the how much it is. On any appliances like the television, you can see on the back side of television, or uh, the electric fan, electric heater, okay. So, if these are returns, you have 100 watt, 200 watt, uh, 50 watt, 40 watt, you can find how much current is flowing and how much energy is flowing within one second. Okay, according to this, you have to pay the bills.